Amen. When a word that says we are born to live, we are born to live. Leka dusome muri Yeremia kuko igice cya mu Efeso kabiri 19 kugeza kuri 22 na kabiri twarahasomye. We read in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19 to 21. We're going to read in Mu Efeso kabiri 19 kugeza kuri 22 twarahasomye. We read in Ephesians 2 19 to 21. Leka rano tujye muri Yeremia igice cya mbere mu rongo wa mbere kugeza kuwa 12. Let us go to Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 1 to 20. Amagamba ya Yeremia mwene hirukiye wo mubatambyi bahoze mu anatoti mu gihugu cy'abenyamini yabwiye we ijambo ry'uwiteka ngo kungoma ya Yosia mwene Amoni umwami w'ubuyuda mu mwaka wa 13 wo kungoma ye the, word, the words of Jeremiah son of Hilkiah one of the priests at Anathoth in the territory of Benjamin the word of the Lord came to him in the 13th year of the reign of, of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah. Jaji kandi no kungoma ya yeho ya chimu mwene yosia umami ubu yuda. Bwani kubame babiri. Jaji ho kujeza mngihere zori yunga kawachumi nunge o kungoma ya zedechia. Mwene yosia umami ubu yuda eji habi Yerusalemu baja angwari mbohemu kwezi kwa gatanu. And through the reign of jo, jo, Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, down to the fifth month of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, son of Josiah, king of Judah, when the people of, Jeru people of Jerusalem went to Exile. And these are the kings. And these are the kings. And these are the kings. The word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. On this line, this is where God was speaking to Jeremiah. The previous verses, God was giving him information. These kings had already died. But but God knew the rule of these two different kings and this was information he gave to the prophet Jeremiah. Verse 6, Allah, sovereign God, my Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak, I am too young. Jeremiah said that he was a child because at that point he was 20 years old. He was a young man. He was given information about the servants of God and the kings that God used powerfully. Jeremiah said that he was a child because at how he's going to do. A powerful prophet is Joseph who was able to go at the age of 17. At the age of 17, it was hard for Joseph to enter into prophecy. There was a prophecy that was spoken over Jeremiah him. Jeremiah has received information from God. At this, uh, on this year, the, Amon, the king of the Ammon, Ammon there are things I've not said about you. And also to Josiah, king of Judah, at 11, there are things I said about you. And I anointed you to be a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah, the age of 20, as a young man. Ninde wa mbabari la akanyeleka umunga na umusuri miyaka makumiyabiri. Nindu li hana wei miyaka makumiyabiri. Who is 20 years old here? Uri hana wei miyaka chumini chenda. At 19. Uri hana wa makumiyabiri na umge. 21. Nande seko muda haguru kava, sorry. Ya, ufitinga he owe. Owe. Na wei ni makumiyabiri na umge. Urevuri ya munga na liru. Look at this young man. He read the books of Moses. He knows information about all the prophets. The Jews are people who are taught the word of God. And he said, but the Lord said, do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone I send to you and say whatever I command you. 
ibyubwana bishyire ku ruhande nzagutuma kubakomeye nzagutuma kubakuru nzagutuma kubanyambaraga kuko ngewe ndi imana igutumye wivuga ko ndi umwana witeka hera ko arambura ukuboko kwe ankora ku munwa maze uwiteka arambira ati shiza amagambo yanje mu kanwa kawe Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said I've put my words in your mouth. Nagutoye urumuhanuzi. I I chose you as a as a prophet. Hari cyo tugiye gusesengura muri iri jambo. There's something we're going to analyze through this word. Ako turabisesengura mu byanditswe. We'll analyze through the word. No mu byigishwa. And the teachings. Yango mubashe gusobanukirwa neza. That you might understand well. Ndaje nkwibutse yuko kuvuka kwawe. I want to remind you that you're being born. No kubaho kwawe. And you being alive. No mugambi w'Imana. Is a plan of God. Rero tuvukira kubaho. We are born to live. Ibiriho byose. Whatever's there. Wavukiye kubaho. You are born to live. Uko byabimeze kose. How whatever the case. Wavukiye kubaho. You are born to live. Kandi Imana ibifite mu ruhare. And God has a role in it. Ifite mu mugambi. He has a plan. Tugende. Let us go. Tubeshwa no masezerano y'Imana. We are sustained by the promises of God. Iyo tuvuze isezerano ry'Imana. When we speak about the promises of God. Ni jambo rivuye mu kanwa k'Imana. It is the word that comes from the mouth of God. Ijambo rya mbere ni iry'Imana yandikishije. The, the first word is the word that God wrote himself. The second word. Tukiri ku iryo jambo rya mbere ry'Imana yandikishije ari cyo gitabo cyabo cyayo Bibiliya. We are still in the word that God wrote himself which is the Bible. Hakubiyemo ubuhanuzi n'amagambo ava ku Mana yavuye ku Mana n'abahanuzi batumwe n'Imana. There are words of prophets of God. Iyo bisoma rero when you read them uniga na Bibiliya as you read as you read the Bible uyisesengura ufata umwanya wo kusoma wamara gusoma icyanditswe ukagitekerezaho when you take the time to read and meditate on the word uje winjira uvuga kuti ni Imana yabyandikishije abahanuzi babe read when you say this is God who spoke through his prophets nje wicanje kinde bamo hano ni kihe what is what is my word here nubiharira abayuda when you give it to the Jews imbaraga zo gutoranywa kwawe no kwakira isezerano ntindi zaso The power of you being chosen and for your promises to come to pass will not will happen. Kuko utoranyije icyo gitabo kuruta ibindi bitabo byose bikuzungurutse nibyo wasomaga nibyo kuri kumbuga nkoranyambaga. Because you choose that book over every other book that is around you or the online book. Ufashe umwanya wo kubaha igihe cyawe kugira ngo ubashe gusomisha mu ry'Imana. You've taken your time and you've honored your time to read the word of God. Ntabwo ari wowe wisunikiye kuri soma. It is not you who's pushing yourself to read it. Ahubwo hari umwuka wera ashaka gusobanurira. There's the Holy Spirit that wants to explain to you. Read you soma that what you read. Ubisoma byitondeye. Read when you are careful. Niba ufite imyumvire myiza. If you have good and a good understanding. Bihindure ibyawe. Let it be yours. Niba byumva neza. If you understand well. Byakire. Receive it. Uzabona amaherezo y'ibyiza byabyo. You see the goodness of the word. Niyo mpamvu tugomba gufata ririya jambo. That is why we ought to take the word. Tukarihindura indorerwamu. And let it become a lens. Twibona mo. That we see ourselves. Twitegereza ibituzungurutse. That we see what surrounds us. Kugira ngo mwiherezo ryo gutekereza ijambo Somye, so that the conclusion of seeing what we've read wowe, let it come to you mara kwinjira muri wowe and once it's entered you nurya attributing abayuda do not attribute it to the jews nuri habahanuzi do not attribute it to the prophets ngo kuko witeka imana yemeye ko nsomira ijambo kandi yaryandikishije rihindutse ijambo ry'imana rivuzwe ni imana kandi ryinjiye muri nge amen you should say that because god has allowed me to read this word that he wrote himself it is mine and it's entered in me ibyo bikubiyemo kwizera imana no kwigira ikizere There is faith in God and trusting yourself in all of this. Birasa na wa muntu ubyutse mu gitondo. It is like this person who wakes up in the morning. Akavuga ngo mana ngo ufite ibyiringiro. And says God I have my hope in you. Ndatambutse intambwe zanjye zikomeze. Strengthen my steps. Kandi nzi uko imbere yanjye ndibuze kwabona ibyiza gusa. And I know that I will see goodness before me. Ndemye umunezero waho ndibuje hose. I have created joy wherever I will go. Nkuye ho inzira zimbangamira zose. I remove every path that will distract me. Nkuye ho inanije byose. I will remove everything that will wear me out. Ibyaturuka mu and nazi whatever will come from size that i don't know bije, and the way it comes ntabwo mbihaye gaciro ko nzi ko ndi kumwe nawe i will not give it value because i know i'm with urametse, you urameteye you have carried me ndahiriwe i am blessed uyu munsi rero ndu munyamahirwe today i am blessed warangiza ugatamba kukigendera bye bye afterwards you go along and iryo sengesho irakora mu biryo that prayer will work in your food iryo sengesho irakora mu nzira muri bis that prayer will work in the bis in the bus iryo irakora mu mwana azaba no muza kuba muri kumwe that that, that that prayer will work when you're with other people in meetings because you put your hope in god it will be done in your life
We are sustained by the promises of God. Let us read in Isaiah chapter 43. All the promises of God. That we see that God can do mighty works in the life of a person. But now, this is what the Lord says. He, created, he who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Think about this word and think if you change this word into you, it will become yours. Take the love of God and put it in you. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Amen. If you read the Acts of the Apostles and read about Paul, how he went into a boat and the, and the, and the waves came and shook the boat, but nothing happened to it. And you remember Daniel in the den of the lions when he, he was thrown in and nothing happened to him and he said, God did this. And you remember Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego go in the furnace and they were not burned and you say it has been done. In, and Joseph when he was thrown in the hole with scorpions and snakes and nothing happened and you say it was done. And then you remember all the Israelites going through the Red Sea and the, and the water did not swallow them except for those who are not in the promise and you laugh and say it was done. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave you Egypt. Because I love you, there's what I give. There's no power and strength over you. Because you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Amen. Do not not be afraid. I am with you. <laughs> Amen. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. In other words, I will bring you back together. This word once, once came upon me. I was going to Uganda to start a garage. Where they, it's called Mundeva. Ndeva. 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 Ndeva, no, Ndeva is a city Uri muri Kampala city. that is in Kampala. Kandi, hari there were many garages. Yari it was a long time ago. It was around 1997, right after the war. Around 97. 97. It was around 1997. I sold everything and I was about to start business. That is how I move. I do everything with my own There was in there was a lot of water. There was someone who was helping me. I would send money to the garage. And the I, I, I cleaned up the area. I put, I put where cars were supposed to enter. I fenced the whole place. I put a small office and I was about to start. I was about to start. 
above the investment that I had already put, I needed capital to start to run the business. Where I was asleep, I was very tired. I heard a phone ringing in my dream. It was ringing and I picked up the phone and I said hello. And I had a voice saying, you are my child and I love you. And if you go through the waters, they will not come against you. When you go through the fire, its flames will not do anything to you. And you're a child, you're my child that I love. Do not, do not question a lot of things. I am with you forever. Do not think that I am far from you. To, from this one end of the earth to the other, I will always be your God. I will be with you and I will protect you. And I will give you good things. As the, as the promise was being spoken to, to I started hearing the, vo the voice going and say, hello, 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 hello. hello, hello. hello. And then it stopped like that. I woke up. I knelt down and I thank God. After a few hours, I was told that the garage that I had already started and the car that I had bought had been stolen. I woke up very fast going back home so that the ones who stole from me will not come, come to me. There's, a, there's what you accept because you know what you've spoken with God. I want to tell you how this is a good promise. When we analyze Jeremiah, a 20-year-old young man, he cannot understand these words that have been spoken over him. But I want to tell you that we are, we are born to live by the mercies and the power of God. Let us go into the words. That we, we are sustained by the, by the promises of God. The promises of God come from his voice or the, or the words. The second thing, these are words that you have received personally. As Jeremiah had spoken to God, in chapter 1 of Jeremiah, from the first verse to 13, God is speaking to him himself up until verse 9. God has started to open his eyes that he may see what God wants of him and why God has sent to him. Because the Israelites had left God. They started praying to God. They, they dishonored the name of God. They eat heart God. He was, God looked for someone that, he might, that might stand with him. I will teach you carefully. The first thing we are sustained by the promise of God, the word of God which is the Bible, what God has told you as a prophecy, and you as well, whatever you pray through God will strengthen you. We see the power of God in all of this. How does a promise, how is a promise The first thing, after seeing that it comes from the word of God, our being born is through the will of God. Ezekiel chapter 16, verses 4. It says on, your, on the day you're born, your, your cord was not cut. You are not beautiful. After you were born, your mother threw you in a pool, a pool of blood. He threw, she threw you in a pool of blood. I found, I found you moving around the pool of blood. No one cut your cord. Your mother separated from you at that point. But when I passed by you, I saw you kicking yourself around that blood. Then after, I passed by you. After I passed by you, I saw that no one came to you. 
because you are ugly, I came and, to, and took you. I cut the cord that you might have a, a belly button. I separated you from what connected you to your mother. Then after, I took hold of you. I cleansed you. I brought you close. I, cleansed, I, I put you. You were clear. And today, you are, you are a girl with parked breasts. This is how a promise surrounds you. It takes a long time. But God does not forget what he has done. Yes, May God be praised. Our being born is by the will of God. We are born through the works of God that he boasts through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Eh, rekatuasomu. Abo yuzi miti maya abo ubu hanga bwo gukora ubukorikori bwose bw'umukebyi wa mabuye nubwo umukozi w'umunyabwenge nubwo kuzoda amabara y'imikara yakabayonga na imihengere na imihemba na ibitare byiza nubwo kubohesha imyenda y'ubudodo bw'igitera ne kizo nzigo nubwo abakoresha ubuhanga bwazo nubwo abahinda imirimo myiza yose amen he has filled them with skill to do all kinds of work as engravers designers embroiders in blue purple and scarlet yarn and fine linen and weavers all of them skilled workers and designers amen nubwo ngo duhabwa amasezerano amasezerano akavukira ku mirimo myiza y'Imana ubwayo yirata we are, we are born through promises and promises that God, uh, through good works that God boasts of. It gives blessing so that he may give ma uh, uh, wisdom to people that, he, that they may create the, 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 the tent as God uh, that they may create the tabernacle so that God can see the works that he put through the minds of these people. We, are, we receive promises through our calling. So that, that these promises may come to pass through these people and God will say, my works have come to pass through these people. And so God will say, my works have come to pass through these people. God will say, my works have come God calls you, God chooses you and, and calls you and gives you promises that you might honor him. The problem we have is that we do not know that we've been called. You ought to know that you've been called. Through the promises you receive through the, the Bible, through the dreams that God gives to you, through the way you seek God with your zeal, you can understand that you've been called called. You understand that the promises of God are on, on you when you pray and his promises come to pass. When a family says we're going to take time to pray for a specific problem and when you pray for this problem when they give it to you so that you pray for it, the works of God are, are evident. Let me show you the third thing. God knows how to praise himself and to speak of himself. It is God that speaks of himself in the Bible many times. From Genesis chapter 15, when God spoke to Abraham, it was, it was, uh, it was apparent that God had chosen children of Israel. In a powerful country in Egypt, they would go as few people. Then they would leave as many. But they would spend 400 years. 
Abraham knew of this prophecy. The, 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 the promise was, The promise went around, but God said, these people will be tortured, but I will glorify myself through that Pharaoh, but because of my people. Exodus chapter 34. Verse 5. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and stood there with him and proclaimed his name, the Lord. And he pass, passed in front of Moses, proclaiming, The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. The promises come from praising God so that he can show the work that he has done. He's the one who purposes to work in your life and chooses you to use you. We have one problem. We do not want to be used by God. We see that it's for some and feel that it's not our, it's not our problem. This is what causes the enemy to come hard against us. If I were you, I would give myself to God and tell God whatever is remaining you ask me. But I am coming. And whatever happens to me after you, God will be pleased with you and he will be with you because you understood to see God with all your heart and to serve him with your heart. There are promises of, that will come to pass. Isaiah chapter 42 verses 6 you become a promise to others is that God has secluded you with him. You yourself and he will use you for time. He will take time with you. He will bring you close to you and he will squeeze you that you may be able to stand before the mighty. Amen. God is not pleased with spiritual infants. Why we fall and you ask God why? Why do you accept that I call for God? Why do you accept that I have a headache? Why do you accept that I get stitches? Why do you accept my finger hurts? God cannot even know what you're trying to say with those things. Because where God is taking you, it is to be strong. The way he told Jeremiah, the milk for, for the children will dry out of you that you may be able to be clothed with the strength to meet the powerful. When you go with your headache, we do the work of God's sake. You can even carry your head. Last year when I came back, I was in a grip I, I had a, a bad call to an extent where I started losing my breath and at that point I'd prepared I would come here crawling whatever I would go to say would disappear on the computer on the iPad it will all disappear the devil fought me in a lot of power but I said I will stand and if I don't want to, if I die, I die. I just wanted to stand before you and then everything that I prepared would disappear. I would lose everything and then afterwards I would continue with the conference and God would continue to help me and he would continue to do good to me. 
the last day, the, the day before the last, on Friday, I lost my breath. The cold was bad. It was the first time that that had happened to me in my whole life. I never get sick. I lost my breath. I told mommy to open the windows. She opened the windows, but I couldn't hold on. I, le- I ran outside. I went outside. I stood, I stood at the balcony outside. I sat down. I sat down. Praying within me. Call people. Look for someone at church to bring a car. But they had taken me to the hospital. And that was the fifth day of the, of the conference. I told you that I changed my ticket three times. And I had a very bad cold during the conference. But what I wanted was to just stand here. Then, then afterwards I felt the air coming back. No, make. When you breathe. <laughs> Thank God. Yes, Praise the Lord. We stand here yet we are finished. We are sick. But we still work. And we are healed from here. God knows how to praise himself and speak himself through his works. The second thing as we rush, the power of a promise. We see it in Matthew chapter 16 verse 19. Matthew chapter 16 verse 19, you are Peter. You are Peter, and through you, you are the rock that will, be, that will build the church, and the gates of hell shall not come against you. And in verse 19, whatever you bound on earth will be bound on heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. In the treasuries of heaven, there are people who are when we pray here on earth. We close the plans of the devil. We open the stories in heaven. The life that we ask for through grace comes down. God wants someone. It's no one else but you. The power of the promise has to be, has to be done through, through gifts. It, there's no one else gift. through spiritual gifts. There's no one else you get this gift. It is through the power of seeking God. The power of the promise. A promise is built. When you know that God has spoken. And know that God is alive. And able to know that God is able to do everything. And that he speaks to his word. You're able to know that God speaks to his prophets. And that he speaks through you. Through the dreams and what you hear in the prayers. Take hold of it. And once you've received it, let no one else come before you. Let no one come against you. Your gift. They will be tried. People will come against you. Your family will come against you. But be strong. You will be with God. The promise, it is built. And it, sorry, it goes around. It is built through pain. That is why the temple in Jerusalem it was finished it was built without any instrument coming coming up against it let's take an example you slept hungry don't make noise. Your child has no school fees. Is that God is for God to try your heart? And then afterwards it will be done. You ought to be built in silence. A promise is built. The power of the promise that is within you. you they are built where you are because you are, you are a temple of the Spirit. When the Spirit speaks, 
this, the, the, the flesh will speak. When the spirit will make noise, the spirit is the one that calls for help. That is why you are a house of the spirit. You, you ought to be built in silence. Things have come up. It becomes a bridge that they, you may go through. Because there's where it has been It has become the, 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 value, the, of Baka. Value, the value of Baka. The value of Baka. How to go back with Hindu. Where ought to change. That value of death Amasoko. has to become so of life that those who have denied God because of losing school fees but do not deny God. Leave those who have left the houses that denied God I do not deny God. Are those who have died for it, do not die for it. There's a promise that is within you. The promise is built. And it goes around. Think of the time you received it. I remember Jeremiah where God said I gave you this promise during the time of the king of the Ammonites. 13 years. During the time of the king of Josiah, king of the Jews. 11 years. Take 15 years and 13 years. These are 24 years, yet he was 20 years. That means the promise came before he was even born. If only God gave you information. For me, he gave me information. When I went into my business. For him, let it, may host. God give you the information where you are. In 98. The promise of God creates zeal in you. When you see Christ coming to the church, say, let me take this time to go before God. There's what has bad you. Leave it in the house of God. There's what has hurt you. Leave it in the house of God. There's what you see in your family that has exhausted the family. Leave it in the house of God. There's what has exhausted your history. Leave it in the house of God. Cleanse yourself. And then afterwards, go. Yes, me. Praise the Lord. Who is the mother of Samuel? Did the zeal of, of Hannah, was it heard by God? Hannah had zeal. She went into the corner. She saw the season that they were in. That the, 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 the high priests were in sin. That the Levites were in sin. Then she said, let me look for a child that will come from me that will serve God. God, if you give me a child, this child will not go to my home. They will, he will be in your house forever. Then God said, at this time, is there anyone who has faith that I work? It is Hannah. Let me give her a child. Whatever Hannah said, it was done. Because Hannah had promised, I will also promise her a child of God. Who will be the father? He will be an advisor. He will be a prophet of the nations. I am going to do it. I am God. <laughs> and then he was done. The promise fills you up with the love of God and everything about you. Don't think that since there's something missing and I'm here, I've given all the it's not that I have a lot of money. I'm actually, I'm actually traveling tomorrow. But I'll leave it when I've done it. Why? It is the love of God. That money would have helped me in my journey. But I'm not alive because of me. I, I live because of Christ who called me. It's the things that are above me that I might have more, more money. But because of the love that I love God, I leave, I leave it when I've given it out. So that my God can be glorified. The promise of God fills you with the love of God and everything else about Him. The, pro the power of a promise. 
The promise is, 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 is fought against. And even though it is fought against, it is where you'll dress up and the clothes will not fit. Because you've, you, you've sacrificed your body. You have sought God in the early morning prayers. You've sought God to someone who's, who's lacking. You feel like the time has not yet reached the church. And you want to come to be in the house of the Lord. That zeal, it is fought against. Against, that by the powers that monitor you, that seek for you, trying to find mistakes in you, don't give them value. Know that even though the promise is important, God will protect it. A promise turns into solutions to many. When it comes to pass, it becomes you become powerful. It, become, it makes you a powerful person. Acts chapter 13 verses 22. David who used to shepherd, he used to shepherd cows. God gave him a promise to be a king for and to everyone who come after him. Where is it that a shepherd who is going to shepherd people and will lead him and tell where God was and will bless them and will become the light of Israel. He did not was educated. He was educated by God. He was educated. He was taught the power of God and taught of the power of God. He was taught of the work of God. God looked at him and said, I have seen he who's, who, he who's heart I'm pleased with. He will be able to speak of what I want and what I've said and will bring to pass. This is a promise. In a promise we are changed. A promise will transform you whether you like it or not. The third thing is a promise will take you to the nations. Acts chapter 13 verse 46. The, the apostles had arguments with others of the faith. But Paul and those who are, he was with said, I've turned to the foreigners. Because the promise is not for the Jews only. It's also for the foreigners. And the promise says that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You will testify Jesus Christ from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria of the foreigners and to the ends of the earth. God speaking Jesus Christ where, where you will teach I will be with you those who will accept you they will have accepted me and if they accept you and accept Jesus and you then baptize them in my name then they will be delivered they will be the same as the Jews the chosen people of God to become a solution to people. Isaiah chapter 42 from verse 6. The promises build countries as one, as one nation. To become an, a solution to people, God looks at one nation no more runaka, and one specific person that they, they may be in many nations and he'll become a solution. Paulo, that is Paul. He continued to go to all the nations and spoke of the good news. We, him and Barnabas. There's a time where they separated with Luke. They separated. Luke who was called Mark. They separated. It came time where everyone would separate. God does not see you as a Rwanda, a Tanzanian, a Burundi, a, 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 a Congolese. He sees you as a, as, as a many nations. Because you saw Paul as someone who is in many nations. There's a promise that is seated within you. 
This mind that you despise God wants you. These powers that you despise God wants it. He wants to walk with you. It is not you who will be able to do it by yourself. The promises. They build them many nations as one nation. The second thing. What we are required. Is to honor God in every way. The third thing. Is to love his works. Let us see how God can do good to you and give you power to overcome. There's, there's no you can hide from the promise because it did not come from you. The one who brought it will protect it. What we ought to ask for every time is eternal life. At the end of this life, what is it? Your body will be put down in the grave that has uh, one, one uh, the height of the, in the grave it has its height it's 1.2 meters the, the width is 1 meter the length is 2 meters then after the, they'll put um, semen. What have you kept? You've not kept a person. The person came from God will go back to God. The spirit will come from God will go back to God. You've kept what came from the earth. Let it go back to the ground. That is why the ground will swallow what is, what is it. Its then the spirit will go back to God. Where they will be the spirit of Jesus. Christ and the Almighty God. The flesh will remain back in the, on the earth. Children are the ones that sing. People are bad, they escort you. And then they leave you at the grave. But Jesus, you will go with him. And then the world will remain with those who are crying. Then the spirit will go to heaven to rest in the bosom of Abraham. There's what God wants to do. Let us remember that we have the promise to live. We were born to live. We are blessed. But then after this life, there's another life. Let us ask for eternal life. One man, there was once an old man. There was one, he was one of the children of God who served from here. His name was Isaiah. He was a drunkard. His death came to him when he was riding a bike. Yeah, since. He was drunk and a bike but hit him. He was walking around and the bike hit him. But all the time he would say Jesus Christ is his elder. He would always say that Jesus Christ is my elder. Then the, his son said, Let me, ask me to go pray for the father in Kanombe. Then when we got there, the old man looked at me and said, Pastor, I have good news. I had not prayed for him. I and he said, my name is Isaiah. The Bible says that he is the one who prophesied over Jesus. And I told him, yes, that is true. What you say. Then he, I asked, why are you here? And he said, I, they hit me when I was full of alcohol. But I am Isaiah. And yet Isaiah is the one who prophesied of, the, of Jesus. I cannot say that I'm the elder of Jesus. But because of that name, I have faith. I, I am related to Jesus. Jesus is my brother and I love him. And I said, based on the words that you have said, repeat, my word, repeat these words. Because you love that Jesus, say Jesus. He said Jesus. You love me. You love me. You are my, you are my elder. You are my elder. You are my elder. Give me eternal life. Give me eternal life. And Jesus has given it to me. After I said that, he kicked and died. 
The nurses came and, and chased us and closed the windows and started preparing him. We left putting him back in the mortuary. When the child started crying, I told him, you're, you're crying because of eternal life. Wouldn't you seek for it until your, your, your knees become What he prophesied became a promise. I am praying that whatever you prayed for became a promise. I pray that whatever you asked for become a, a, a commandment over the ears of the devil. Whatever you prayed for, let it become a command in the ears of the devil. Whatever you prayed for, let it become power in the ears of the angels. Let them hold your hands. Let them stand in your, in your weakness. Whatever you prayed for, whatever you have faith in, may God make it into a law in the ears of the devil and the demons. Whoever you prayed for, walk with them into the kingdom of the Almighty God. Pray every time. Ask eternal life. You will receive it. Let that not the things of the world delay you. We have God. May God bless you. Change your prayer. And tell God I'm coming. God, use me. Change it into a prayer. And tell God, God, I am yours. May your name be glorified. Praise the Lord. The prayer, the promises of God that are on you let it boil up. Let the boil. Let it be connected to, by the flames of the, of the Holy Spirit and God strengthen you. Become a solution in your family. Know the problems of your family. Bring it before God and may your family change. The problems of the church let it be known by God. Bring before God. Let it be answered. The problems of the country. Bring it before God. Let the promise, the, the country become a promise. Stand as the, uh, as the watchers on the towers at all times that God may see you well. May God bless you. We, li we, are, we are born to live let it become a law and a promise in your yes, life.